I don't think too many uh, golf courses have been totally redesigned for a Ryder Cup. And I do think that Marcus Simone is the first you know, purpose-built uh, new course. Well, from the moment you pick up the pen and you start designing, you're thinking about the environment and the sustainability. Everything on site has been retained or reused. Any rain, any water we get on site gets reharvested back to the irrigation lake. We have enhanced and added a, a lot of stream and water features that improves habitat creation across the site and in terms of sand and materials that we have had to bring in. They've all been local materials. Sustainability in modern golf courses management is a fundamental aspect. A golf course by definition is a sustainable place. The, the amount of biodiversity that we can find on, on a golf course is just huge. When um, we do an inventory of the amount of insects that we can have, plants, uh, wildflowers. So um, irrigation is integrated in this sustainable uh, plan. We've got over 2,000 infinity sprinklers out here, the Lynx central Dakota system. You know, that's really playing a vital part in, in optimizing the amount of water that we put out here. We, we have an extremely hot site, especially in the summer. So all these little uh, factors making the course as efficient as possible, design in terms of build, and then in, at the end of the day, making it as efficient to maintain as well is all vitally important. Here we just irrigate the key areas in play, like the fairways, semi rough greens. So that's part of the, the water management strategy that we do here, and we try to save as much water as possible. And the plan of Marco Simone in a short time is to irrigate, to fully irrigate the golf course with wastewater, recycled water.